Good evening. Hello, everybody. Let's shut the sound off because nobody wants to hear me twice. How's everybody doing tonight? Let me know if you're here, if you've come to hang out with us. I'm just gonna do some sharing. Hi, Amy. Amy, thank you so much for the Christmas card. That was a nice surprise. I had to go to the office today, which I rarely do. So it was nice to come home and find some happy mail. I am making a Christmas gift card holder tonight. How are you tonight? How is your day today? Hi, Donna. How's everybody's day? Everybody ready to get crafty? I'm so excited about this card that I'm going to make tonight. I got this idea last week, and I've been so excited to make it that I'm, like, really well prepared and ready to go. So I'm only going to hang out for, like, maybe another minute or so and wait for a few more people to come on. And then we will get started. Um, we're going to use the Welcome Home stamp set. And I'm going to show you something really cool. And, uh, well, I think it's really cool. Um, and I just recently made a few discoveries about this stamp set that um, I want to share with you guys. Enabler alert. Enabler alert. <laughs> just to give you guys a heads up, I'm going to show you something. I don't know. You might already know, but I was digging through some stuff and just found some good things to share. Ah, oh, Amy, I'm glad you had a good day. I had a pretty good day myself. I don't usually go to the office, um, but it was my boss's birthday. So I went into the office today, which was good. It was good to get out of the house for sure. I love working from home, um, but it's always good to get out once in a while. And um, I was excited because I knew I was coming home and gonna get to craft with my friends tonight so that's exciting so let me know if you're watching let me know if you're excited for the holidays tell me if you're doing any holiday crafting doesn't have to be cards could be anything tell me anything you're doing because I love to hear it all and tell me if you had a good day hey Darren how was your day what's happening everybody good I'm excited I'm really excited for this so it's 804. Let's get started, right? Because I am ready to go. So this is December's um, release from the Inspiration Box. This is Welcome Home. And okay, I, um, I have to decide where I even want to begin. All right, so let's, let's take it back for a minute real quick. Do you guys remember this set, No Place Like Home? This was one of my like old favorites, okay? Ah, oh, awesome. I hope she's having fun. I have a really funny nutcracker story I'm going to share with you guys afterwards. Um, so this was one of my favorite sets. This is not available anymore, but don't be sad because it's better. This set had, okay, so this set was called No Place Like Home, and it had add-ons. It had No Place Like Fall, No Place Like Halloween, and no place like holidays. Uh, there was also a summer one that I forgot to pull out. Uh, give me a sec. Yes, no place like summer. Well, what I found out is these work amazing with this door and these are available. So if you're gonna buy this or if you get the inspiration and you have this, Trust me and go buy this stuff, especially the Christmas one, because all of these things work so fun with the door. I mean, listen, you get all these amazing accoutrements. I just like to use that word. I don't even know if it really applies. Awesome. Hi, Marlene. Very cool. Okay, so you got some of the No Place Like Home or yeah, No Place Like Home 
and this is welcome home and i mean okay look at this let me show you guys real quick so look at how perfect it fits like right in the door the wreath fits perfectly on the door you could these topiaries we're going to use these tonight the presents fit and then you've got all these other awesome things um if you don't want to use this mat you can mask it off and use the polka dot mat in front of the door fits perfectly how cool is that <laughs> donna donna look what's out on my desk just for you donna has this thing about the doorknob when I created the No Place Like Home cards, she was insisting that I put a gold dot on the doorknob. And I did on one of them. You said I didn't, but I did do it. I did it on one of the Halloween ones, I think. Okay, so as soon as I saw this set, um, I saw this door opening. And I've been dying to do this. So we're going to do this tonight. We're going to take a gift card holder. And it's going to be a little bit interactive. I just thought it would be really cool to have the door open, to see a little scene inside. Um, Darren, you guys are amazing. Seriously, it, it's perfect. And I was excited, you know, I always, I always like check. I always go on the website before I do a live because I don't wanna show you guys something that's so awesome. Be like, haha, you can't have it. So I checked and I thought, well, that's okay that no place like home is not available because all the accoutrements are. And I know people might be buying this and I mean, it's so cool. The Halloween ones, everything. Okay, enough talking, let's get crafting. So I did some stamping ahead of time. So we're gonna create a gift card holder and it's gonna be, it's not gonna be a typical open and close card, okay? So this is gonna be the base that we're gonna work on. And on the back is gonna be a flap that we're gonna seal up and we're gonna put our gift card in so let's get started I cut out some paper layers but I want to get started working on my interactive door because we're gonna do some coloring and I know that takes a little bit of time so I went ahead and I stamped my door on this piece of paper but I want to create like an outside of the house so I stamped my door on my masking paper. So before we color this door, we're going to create the outside of the house. So this, this is the door I stamped and cut it out on masking paper. And we're going to start by putting this down. Okay. So let me go ahead and forgive me if you see the top of my head because I am getting in there. Oh, and I got some good news today. I've been so bummed about my web camera not working and the company is sending me a new one. I am very excited about that. Okay, I'm just gonna stop talking for a second so I can get this on straight. Okay, now, if anybody wants to see any of the other No Place Like Homes and how they work, just give me a holler, I'll pull them out and I'll hold them up and show you how they all fit. Okay, I'm just trying to get this on as best as I can. Okay, that is not great. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to do it again. I'm trying to avoid any, like, white gap around the door. Oh, darn it. All right. I just ripped a little bit off the paper, but that's okay. I'm going to give this one more shot. time we're just gonna go with it okay yeah it's not perfect but it will have to do and we can always fill it in later okay then let me grab a stick and stamp that so I can make life easier okay so funny story about the nutcrack many many years ago my mother's birthday is December 10th so many years ago I decided to um, like usually I would take her out and do something Christmassy. We'd go to the city, go to a show. So one year the college near us was performing the Nutcracker. So I planned this whole day. I took her out to lunch, took her to the Nutcracker. So we get to the Nutcracker, right? And I'm like so excited because I just couldn't wait to have this day with my mom. 
and we're watching the Nutcracker and maybe like, I don't know, 15 minutes in or so, I look over at my mom, right? And she has this really weird look on her face. And I'm like, mom, are you okay? Do you like the show? And she goes, I love it, but when are they going to talk? <laughs> I said, mom, it's a ballet. And she was like, oh, <laughs> so still to this day, that that's like our ongoing joke. Um, we went last weekend to see the Christmas movie, I Heard the Bell. It's a sight and sound movie from the Sight and Sound Theater out in Pennsylvania. They put a, a movie out. So I had bought the tickets ahead of time and uh, we had this plan to take my daughter and go see the movie. And as we're walking into the movie, she looks at me and she goes, there's talking in this, right? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> right, Donna says, oh, Carmela. Hi, B. how's it going? Okay, so I've got this old, um, this is an old stencil from an old inspiration box, like brick, so I'm going to lay that right over. And I'm going to grab some red ink. I picked this color because I thought it was like a darkish, darkish kind of red. I just want to grab a paper towel. Okay, so let's make a brick wall on the outside of this house. I'm not too worried about the um, the the ground over here because I've got some like snow piles that we're gonna cover it with. So I just want to work on the outside brick brick walls. just realized that I forgot to grab my, my cutting mat, so I'm going to have to grab that in a minute. If I can find it. <laughs> okay. So that's going to be our, our brick wall. I'm going to take this off. Okay, I'm not going to lift my door yet because I want to, <coughs> excuse me, fill in those, those spots. So I'm going to try and go light because this is a pretty dark color and I don't want to do it too light. There we go. Perfect. I'm just going to go very lightly. So is anybody else crafting tonight? Anybody crafting along with me? Anybody making any holiday crafts? A few years ago, I was really into making gnomes. I made a ton of them and I gave them as gifts. I filled socks with rice, made the little hats. It was fun. Okay, so let's get our base off of here. This is gonna be our Okay, and like I said, I'm not too worried. I do think we're going to have to do something um, with this. And I thought I, did I not cut a, a mask for the, the mat? I guess I didn't. I guess I didn't cut a mask for the mat. Um, but I think that we're going to, let's see. Let me grab my snow hills and let's see where our snow hills are going to be. So I cut out these. So we could do like snow in front of the house like that. So I think that we probably can get away with just 
coloring our mat in. Perfect. Okay. Beatrice is studying for finals, but took a break. Well, thank you for spending your break with us. I love that. And Marlene says she's creating graphics. Oh, what's your son's new company, Marlene? Okay, so let's peel our door off and we can color that. Okay, now, this is what I was worried about. You see that white line right there? Because I didn't line my mask up quite exactly, but I'm going to show you how we're going to fix that. So, <clears throat> I got my Copics all ready to go so that you guys are not waiting for me to pick colors. The only thing I didn't pick out colors for is the, the doormat, but again, I'm not super concerned about it because... Um, you're, you know, it's probably going to be covered. So I picked these real dark browns to do the molding. Uh, so let's start there. Double M Ranch Clothing. Oh, that sounds cool. I love hearing about new businesses. That's exciting. Best of luck to him. Okay, so now I'm just kind of watching how far in I go. I'm going to do a darker molding and then a lighter, a lighter brown door. My husband has actually been staining molding today, so I told him his staining has inspired me. Okay, I'm using Copics. I put my pens up in case anybody wanted to know numbers that I was using, but of course you can always ask. I think I'm going to continue on with this color because this one is light and I didn't want it I want it to be dark. I want the molding to be darker. So I did pull one more lighter to do three shades, but I think it's going to be too light. So we're just going to stick with two. Coloring that guy in. All right, so last week we talked about Christmas movies. We talked about Christmas songs. What else, what else Christmas can we talk about? Or holidays for that matter. So I actually saw a trailer for a new movie coming out that has two of my favorite actors that I'm really excited about. There's a movie um, coming out on... Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna R. What's for dinner, Amy? Um, there's a new movie coming out with Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell called Spirited. And those are definitely two of my favorite actors. And I think they're both hilarious. So I'm really, really excited to see those two guys together in a film. And I'm, I'm even more excited because it looks like we'll be able to watch that one with the kids. So that definitely makes me happy. Yum, quesadillas. We had uh, Lucas's favorite dinner tonight, which we call chicken crack. Um, and it's his absolute favorite. It's like chicken and noodles, like chunks of chicken and noodles in... Oh, like bad musically, Darren, because I noticed that in the um, in the coming attraction. But I thought it was just like silly musical. Like, is it like super cheesy? Please, please say no. I hope it's like good. Like, was it funny at least? Because I love those guys.
Okay, as long as it's funny. <sighs> because, I mean, right now, Elf is like my absolute favorite. I love that movie. Okay. I'm going to go one layer over with the last color just to blend all our stuff in here. And then we'll go in on our door. So now, oops, I didn't go all the way over, did I? Now what I'm going to do about that white gap, let me get a black marker. And this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to fill that line in. Okay. Do it up here too so we don't have that like white ghost image. And voila. All right, next up is the door. I didn't expect as much singing. All right, well, that might make the kids, well, my daughter might make her enjoy it a little bit more. Is it uh, actually good? Now I can ask you, is it appropriate like for my kids to watch? Just so you guys know, too, like while I'm doing this and talking about it, a bulk of this is going to be the coloring. Um, putting the card together is going to be pretty easy. And I'll show you guys that. So once all of our coloring is done, everything will go together pretty easily. I just decided that I'm going to do this, this part down here, the dark, the dark, darker brown. Awesome. Good. Kid appropriate, funny Christmas movie. Yay. I'm excited for that. Watching out for our little doorknob there. Who's doing Christmas shopping? Anybody done yet? I'm actually pretty close if I'm being honest, but I'm an online shopper. I rarely make it to the store. So I get in this vicious cycle with Kohl's and Kohl's cash and I do it every year. So I order, right? And then I get Kohl's cash on my order. So then I go order again and then I get more Kohl's cash. And sometimes I feel like I'm just stuck and it never ends. So I've placed two orders in the last week and I still have $60 in Kohl's cash. So then what happens? I start buying myself stuff. Okay. This door is a great I love this set. I am a big fan of what I call builder sets. And, you know, again, I don't even know. I know I've said this before. I don't even know if that's the right terminology for them. But I call them builder sets when it's like a stamp set. And then it has add-ons. And there's things that you can just add on to the set and, like, build out. And, uh, like, once I saw that this worked with the... Um, the all the doodads from the other ones and then I of course I thought oh man that's gonna stink if they don't have it and then I went on and there is a there is a sale going on right now so I mean you gotta check that out 
And if you have this welcome home, then you can get all those extra things for it. So fun, right? Okay. All right, so there's our door. I wanna do that molding down at the bottom. Is that that was 79 anybody have any thoughts on the doormat should we do like a red Christmassy doormat I mean it's really not gonna show a whole lot all right what do you guys think of our door so far it's getting a silver door oh wait Donna wants gold Oh, see, I hate I hate coloring like gold because I feel like I do better shading with silver. But since it's small, let me just grab my chart. Oh, 24, 23, that'll work. That was the one color I didn't have prepared. I think this is my one that's dry. Oh, no, we're good. Gold door handle for Donna C. Just for you, Donna. Okay, so our door is done. Too late. <laughs> this weekend, Amy. All right, all right, that's good. Um, can I tell you guys the funniest thing? So I Christmas shop for my dog, um, you know, because she's my favorite. Shh, don't tell the kids. Um, so, oh, let me show you a quick trick real, real quick. This is what I like to do with the masks because this you can reuse it so what I do is when I make a mask so if I want to do it again I don't have to like restamp and recut I just stick it right on the outside so it's there for next time and I mean this is one of those that I'm, I'm always going to want to put the door in a in a setting on a wall or whatever so this is one I know that I'm going to be using again thanks Darren so I will just put that on the stamp set like that so I had already started coloring these topiaries. Now these topiary, topiaries are from the No Place Like Holidays. That was the that add-on set for the old stamp set. That's this one. And then this wreath is from this, this set with the door, Welcome Home. So we'll finish these guys up and cut them. I figured I'd put the wreath on the front door. I thought that would be fun. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick quick color on this. We'll do the light first. And I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm not getting into any crazy shading, blending, because I don't, you know, just want to make it colorful and fun. No stress. Plus, I always feel like it's boring to watch me color. Your coloring makes me want to color like you want to go up. Amy, Amy, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. It's so funny. I tell my daughter that a lot. I'll say, Lily, I want to be just like you when I grow up. Oh, I wish I had taken a picture. She made my boss the cutest birthday card. And he was like hysterical because he thought it was the cutest thing ever. You know what I love that I think is so cute? When she writes out a card, you know, this is like a little kid thing. She'll write out a card, but like everything is like all the way up at the top. So it like, it said, dear Mitch, happy birthday. And then like right under it, I was like, love Lily. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so I'm throwing down all my light color. For my Copic color, colorist, colorers out there, what is your preferred technique? I know some people put their light shadows in first and then go back and, or uh, I'm sorry, do their light fill and then go back and do the dark shadows. Other people put the dark shadows in first and then go over it with the lights. For me, it depends on 
uh, it depends on what I'm coloring. It depends on what I'm coloring. So when it's something, a smaller area, then I usually do, um, the whole, I fill it, cover it with the light first. If it's something bigger, then I usually do three colors and I throw my darks down first where like wherever my shadows are going to be. And then I will pull the darks out and blend them out with the lighter shades. But like in this instance, um, this was easier to just fill the whole thing with the light and then just throw some, some darks in there. I probably could even go a little bit darker. Donna says she likes to do dark first and then drag the light from there. We're doing the light first does saturate paper. And yes, exactly. So what Donna says is when you do the light colors first, it saturates the paper and makes it easier to blend. And that's exactly why when I'm coloring something really small, I fill it in with a lighter color first because I feel like doing it the other way, I don't always have the room, right, to pull the color out. So when it's a small thing, I generally will do the light, the light color first. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. I'm just curious. I always like to know what people's techniques are. Okay, so that's going to be our wreath. I'm going to do a light blend some of that out check the time we don't have a lot left to color so we're good although I'll show you a cool thing we're gonna do so we will have a little more to color let me color these taupe berries and I want to put some green in here oh that's really dark All right, let's fix that. Oops. Does anybody make their Christmas cards? So I've probably told you guys my sort of process, for lack of a better word. Um you know, throughout the year, I make so many cards for, you know, different reasons, design team and just when I'm trying techniques and things like that. So what I generally do is I'll make a whole bunch of cards and then they're there for the following year. So this year I'll send Christmas cards that I made last year. And it's kind of like everybody's going to get something different but you know I don't want to waste all of these cards that I've made so that's what I do so this card will probably be held until next year although you never know sometimes I run out sometimes I need another one so this one I'm just throwing down some darks on here This one, I don't know. I just grabbed my pen and decided to do dark first. Beecher says, your coloring is amazing. If I colored, it would look like a third grader colored it. My third grader? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Beatrice, come on now. I've seen your work, and your work is beautiful. You always make beautiful stuff. But thank you. Thank you for the compliment. That is kind. I love, love, love coloring. Um, it's so therapeutic, so therapeutic. We used to do, we have not done this in a while. Um, it was, you know, it was a pandemic thing mostly, but I guess that's how it started. But on Sunday mornings, we would sit around after breakfast, all four of us and color. And in the dining room, we just kept a basket of all of our coloring stuff and everybody had their own coloring books and uh, we would all just sit around and like listen to music and drink coffee. Well, me and my husband would drink coffee and color. And it was fun. We have not done that in a while.
Although we didn't have a kitchen for over three months and we finally have a kitchen back. So that might need to happen this weekend. Okay. Amy says last year, I made about 25 copies of the same pop-up card. Those didn't get sent out until after Christmas. This year I used a kit and made a few other cards. And you see, I got them out on time. Awesome. So the card, oh, I wish I would have brought it down. It's upstairs in the basket. Um, Amy sent me this adorable snowman card. So the snowman card um, was that, sorry, I'm just trying to decide if I want to cut right on the line. I think since these are the only two, three things that I have to cut, we're going to go right on the line. Um, Amy sent me this really cute snowman card. So was that from a kit? It was very cute and it was colored very cute. And it's so funny because I let my daughter open up the Christmas cards. Like she loves doing that. And so the stack of mail, um, I grabbed it on my way in. And I said, Lily, I go, there's cards here to open. I said, but I'm opening this one. And she's like, well, why? I said, because it's from my crafty friend. And I know it's a homemade card, so I get to open this one. So thank you so much for that. That was very thoughtful. I love getting crafty mail. I actually, I keep a box um, on the shelf down here. And after, like, when it's the season, I display them. And actually, I know Donna C does the same thing because I've seen her cute little display. So I'll put the cards out that people made for me. And then when the season is over, I put them in a box and I save them. I never throw out the handmade cards. And then next year, I'll put them out like as a little display in my office. And I know Donna C does the same thing in her living room. She had a, a cute little setup for like fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving-ish time. Who's here? Me. Hi, Lucas. I'm going to bed. Oh, is it bedtime already? Yeah, I'm just tired. Just tired? Did you take a shower? Uh-uh. How come? I'm so tired. What? I forgot. I forgot. Me and Daddy were watching So why don't you go take a quick shower and then go to bed? Mm -mm. Since it's only 8.40. I just want to go to bed right now. No, you'd prefer to be smelly? Mm -hmm. All right, well, since you're here, at least say hi and goodbye to my friends. Hi and goodbye. All my crafty friends I'm are on tonight. To sleep on Daddy. That's okay. Did you do homework? Yeah. Great. I love you. Good night, sweet pea. Tomorrow's Friday. Yay. Oh, that was actually Lucas. Darren said, hi, Lily. I said, that was actually Lucas. Okay, let's see. Not sure. Yeah, Amy, it was a snowman. B says, Christmas cards I receive go in my DD. <gasps> B? That's such a good idea. Oh, Darren, listen, don't apologize because I can't. If I'm like in my room and one of them calls me, I never know which one it is. So I I will sometimes call Lucas Lou and I'll call Lily Lil. So if one of them if one of them calls me and I'm not sure which one it is, I'll go like this. Yella <laughs> And like not say their full name because I'm like, I don't want them to think I'm the bad mom that doesn't know who it is. All right, let's speed up this cutting a little bit so we can get this cool card together. I knew it was a bad idea to try and cut on the line. It always takes me longer. Sorry if you guys are bored watching me cut. Okay. Well, we knew the other one was going to come down. I hear footsteps again. I hear you. I know. Okay, now this is Lily. Say hi to everybody. Hello, everybody. Lily's got a little cold going on here. Do you know if I'm going to school tomorrow? I don't know. Do you know? How are yeah. you feeling? I'm feeling meh. No fever, right? I don't think so. Are you headed to bed? No. Well, I suggest getting in bed early, getting a good night's sleep, and then let's see how you feel in the morning. Okay. Okay. Right. All right, so Beatrice says, why do boys hate shower at that age? I, I don't know, B. Can you tell me? Darren, you have boys. Do you know? Amy says, mine might be left over from a kid, and then the snowman may have come from a... S awesome. Darren says, mine are 10 years apart, so I never had that problem. Oh. Darren says, hi. I and know. Amy says, hi. I see everybody. And Beatrice and Donna. Hi, Donna. Yes. Hi, Beatrice. So, the other thing my son hates besides shower... Actually, he's not... 
He's not normally bad with the showers. He's he he'll shower. He just won't use soap. Like he'll go shower and he just will come out literally in three seconds and he'll be like, I'm done. And I'm like, no, no, you're not. And then I'll do the smell test and I'll know that, you know, he didn't use shampoo, he didn't use um soap. So yeah, getting him to shower is not the problem, but getting him to do it right is. Darren says, no, it's a daily struggle. Well, so what's our struggle here? If you guys are on friends with me on Facebook, then you may have seen my post the other day about Lucas saying, okay, so literally this is what happened. It was 30 degrees out and my husband comes out with a coat and he hands it to Lucas. Lucas grabs the coat, tosses it on the floor and goes, I'm not wearing that. Coats are embarrassing. Okay. I was speechless, speechless. I looked at my husband, my husband just shrugged at me and was like, whatever. And I'm like, wait, seriously? Coats are embarrassing. Can you guys believe that? Lily, what say you about coats being embarrassing? What? What's your feeling on that? I mean, coats are... They just ruin your outfit because if they're not the color, like the right color that just goes with your whole, like, vibe. Oh, so it's about ruining the vibe. Is that it? But That's what it is for me. But when you get into school, you're taking it off anyway. Yeah, but the people who are on the bus and when you're walking into school, they'll all see you. Oh. Wait, wait, get a coat. All right. Uh, I think this is a bunch of malarkey. All right. I think I changed my mind. I think I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. Well, you're not looking so great. I got to be honest. I don't love the way you look right now. You're very flushed and your cheeks are very pink. I don't feel good. I know you don't. And this time I was not going like this. I know. Do me a favor. When you head up, ask daddy to take your temperature, okay? Okay. Okay. And say goodnight to everybody and go get a good night's rest, okay? Good night. I, put I love my, you. I'm um, not going to smooch you. All right. All right, let me catch up on... They stand under the water, totally. Donna R. says, My mom used to yell coyote when she wanted one of my boys. Their names are Corey, Kyle, and Cody. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Donna, that's hilarious. Corey, Kyle, and Cody. I love it. Um... Oh, so you got it, B. It's a vibe thing. You got that? You get a black coat. That B's right. Just get a black coat that goes with everything. Ruin the vibe. Can't ruin the vibe. Being warm is more important. Mine all wear shorts with a winter coat. Oh, oh hi, Carol. When did you sneak oh, on, hi, lady? Hi, Carol. Thank you for saying feel better to me. Good night, my baby girl. Night, all right, I love you. Not if I see you first. I knew that was coming. You knew it. I knew it was coming any second. Heck yeah. All right, I apologize for the long cutting here. But we are almost done and then we can put this, this little thing together. I feel like I am doing a very not good job at cutting. I can't, I can fussy cut really good but not when I have to rush. But it's good enough. And I'll show you a trick, well you guys probably know the trick with the black marker to get rid of those white lines around it. Darren, I never understood the coat with shorts, so I guess the legs don't get cold. Well, you know what? So here's the thing. I can't argue with the shorts in the winter because I went to Catholic school like my entire school career, all the way up through college. And I wore a uniform, not in college, but in grammar school and high school, I wore a uniform and it was, um, it was a skirt. And in high school, we had to wear stockings or tights, but in grammar school, we had to wear knee socks. So, I mean, wearing a skirt with knee socks is not much different than wearing shorts, right, in the winter. I mean, in, when I was in high school, then, you know, we'd wear, I'd wear like those really thick, thick tights that kept me warm, or in grammar school, I would even sometimes like, if I was walking to school in the winter, I would just put sweatpants on and then take them off when I got to school. But I mean, you know, I guess wearing shorts is not much different than 
than wearing a skirt. And it's so funny because now as an adult, I hate wearing stockings because in high school we had to wear them every day and it was the worst. When you had gym, you had to put your stockings back on and I remember one year I had gym last period. So I literally would walk out of gym class onto the bus, but if the teacher saw you walk out with no stockings on, you'd get in trouble. So I'd be like sweaty from gym. I mean, I would always bring a like an extra clean pair so I didn't have to put back on the stockings that I had had on all day. But still, it was like, who wanted to put stockings on after running around gym class? Okay, so now I'm just gonna run this to get rid of any white from my not so perfect cutting job, which is fine because once we do this, you can't even tell. And this is not even, uh, this is C7. So this is not even like a dark black, which is fine. As you can see, that works out just fine. Just kind of finishes it off, right? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Lily. She's not looking too good. She kind of stinks. She was out with the flu. Uh, when was that? Was that before Thanksgiving? No, was it after Thanksgiving? I can't even remember now. I know she had, yeah, it was after Thanksgiving. It was a week after, it was last week. That's right, it was last week. And I felt so bad for her because she was supposed to dance in the um, town tree lighting and she had been sick all week. Yeah, she didn't sound good. She, she went to, she woke up this morning and she was very cold. She had gotten dressed and then like wrapped herself in a blanket and she seemed okay. She just kept saying she was very cold. She didn't have a fever. She was coughing a little bit, but like I said, she was out all last week with the flu. So she still kind of had like a residual cough. So, you know, took her temperature and you know, that was it. She just said she felt blah and that she was very cold. So I gave her some cough medicine and she went to school and she starts school like nine, nine Oh five around there. And at like, I don't know, 935, not somewhere between 930 and 10. I was actually on the phone with Donna C. And uh, the, I see that the school, and it's so funny because whenever the school number pops up, you know, I can't tell which school it is. It's just like the main district number. But like every time my heart just sinks, <laughs> I get like this feeling in my stomach like, oh, God, what now? So it was the school nurse and like I said, it was somewhere between 9.30 and 10 o'clock. And um, yeah, she's like, well, she's not feeling so good. She's freezing. So my husband went and got her and she laid on the couch all day. Um, yeah, I have a feeling she's gonna be home again tomorrow. I just get that feeling. Okay, so now I am going to, I'm just gonna grab a folder because I don't know where my cutting mat is and I don't wanna take up more time. So I am going to take my X-Acto knife and we're going to cut this on, you know what, I'm afraid this is not going to work so good. I'm going to use this. Let's use this package. Oh no. Can somebody, uh, we have a, we have a troll. Let me just see if I can lock. Yep. I think I got that. Sorry about that guys. I just noticed that, but it looks like I've got it blocked. Let me just see if I can report it also. Okay. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you, B. I had my head down, so appreciate that. Oh, everybody's got it. Thank you guys so much. Sorry about that. It happens. Not much we can do about that. Okay. So I am going to cut on the line with my X-Acto knife. This is not the best surface to cut on, but you know what guys, let me just look quick for my cutting mat because that will work a lot better. Oh, you know what? I know where it is. Sorry about that. I keep my little cutting mat with all my foiling stuff. 
because I use the rotary tool to cut my foiling. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna cut around my door because I want the door to open. Now, this paper is definitely a little damp from uh, all the markers, so. And my, my blade is probably not the sharpest. So I'm just cutting right down on one of those black lines. smooth that out a little bit but that'll be okay okay and then here actually you know what let's do it this way let me get a ruler so on the back I'm just gonna match up to the ends of my now nah, you know what I think I'm better off doing it here because I don't want to mess it up so I'm just gonna go very lightly very, very lightly. I'm not going all the way. Just like a score line. Okay. There we go. Let's see if I can trim this up and fix that on the top. This side, I'm just gonna take one of my browns. Let's see, just so that when it opens, it looks nicer than than what's here. I probably should do this. I don't like this chisel tip. I don't like that noise it's making. Okay, this way we just have a brown door on the inside. Okay. Now, let me get my pieces. So, for inside the door, we're going to put some presents inside the door. Let me just make myself some room. Okay, so this is going to be our opening, and I'm going to take the presents from the No Place Like the Holidays. presents sitting right inside the door like that. Put a magnet. Oops. Okay, I'm going to pick that up. And then we'll get rid of this. Raven ink. Getting all cluttered. I had this whole plan tonight to keep everything neat. I put like an extra container thingy and I was like, okay, remember like every time you put something down, throw it in the container. Well, it didn't really work. Now, we're almost at nine o'clock, so I'm not going to color these. I will go back after 
and color these because I really want to finish the card. I want you guys to see what it's going to look like. Okay, so that's that. That way, this way, when you open the door, the presents will be sitting there. And then the other thing that I wanted to do was put a little holly hanging down, like, um, you know, like holly hanging down in the doorway. So from the welcome home, we have all these different, I love that there's like all the different sizes. See, there's these little ones and then you got the big ones. So I am gonna take, I'll take this one. And I'm gonna have that hanging down right there. Uh, maybe we should take, I don't think I want to do the other one. I'm going to swap it and have this hanging down a little bit more so we see more of it. Ah, oh, look what I did. <laughs> I did it backwards. That's not going to work. There we go. And then we'll take this off. that guy one more okay Put that back so I don't lose that uh -oh. oh here's my cloth all right so let's get to putting our card together this way and then I'll go back and I'll color and I'll definitely post this so that you guys can see the finished card colored. I'm just gonna smooth this out over here. Okay. Um, just miss, oh, there we go. Okay, so now this, just to give you guys an idea, this is a, it's four and a quarter across, like an A2. So this, when it's this way, it's um, A2 size. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I just have this flap on here that is two inches. So this is gonna get folded. I just scored it and that's gonna get folded back because that's gonna be the back of the card. And we're just gonna run a little bit of glue here. So first, let me put some, let me get my glue. some glue. And we'll put our door. Let's line this up. I did cut the underneath piece like a little bit smaller just to make life easier. Okay, so that's going to be inside our, our door like that. Just stick that down. Okay. And I just put little extra for color and when I color the um, presents I'll bring some of that blue into it so it all coordinates nicely Trying to get that straight on my okay. All right, so we got our wreath and these little guys. Ah, uh, hi, Donnie. You know what we could have used. We could have used the little doggy on the words from home stencil and had a little doggy waiting in there. In fact, I think, oh, look at that. We had the cat on there. And I think one of the other ones, that would have been cute. Kind of put a little doggy waiting inside the door. Okay, so let me get my hills. And let's see, we'll put some snow. 
right. that too much what do you think hmm you know I don't know how I feel about the snow what do you guys think I think I might leave the snow hills off I'm gonna take a gray and nope that's definitely gonna be too dark I'm just gonna take a gray and we'll just color this gray no snow yeah no snow I'm with you guys I'm just gonna make this gray like you know gray whatever of course this would have been a lot easier if I had done it before we put it on the mat but that's okay Whoops. I was afraid that was going to happen. That's okay. All right, there we go. That works just fine. Okay, so this is gonna, I'm gonna go back and color the other stuff later because we're kind of running out of time and I want you guys to see the finished product. Okay. So this is gonna go on, make sure that the flap, the flap has to be at the bottom. Oh good, I'm glad everybody said no snow. Okay, so that's gonna go like that. Now it is 9.04, so if anybody has to go, I apologize that I went over on time. I completely understand. Darren, is it okay for me to go for a few more minutes? I don't know if there's like a limit, but I'll try and hurry it up. Okay, I'm gluing the sides of our flap. So this will be there to slide a gift card into. Now, I cut pieces to fit on the top. So on here, I just need a, um, let me get my Christmas stamp. So I'm going to take the Merry Christmas from Occasional Greetings. Go for it. It happens. Shannon does it too every now and then. Okay. You know, sometimes like I, I look at things and I'm like, oh, it's not going to take long to do that. And I end up being done in like a half an hour. And then other times I'm, I don't know, it's taking me longer. But we'll finish, we'll finish up just so that you guys can see the function of the card. And then I will finish it and I'll post pictures in the Brutus Monroe fan group for everybody to see the finished product. Okay. And where's my red? Whoops. I'm going to do the same red that I used um, to do the brick background. I think I got that too good. I saw that. <laughs> Just realized something. Both of my kids went to bed early. Did anyone happen to notice if there was any pigs flying by their window? Just wondering.
So this would be the spot for your to and from. And this is gonna go on the back here. Okay, and then you have your pocket here where your gift card could go. And then on the other side is your door that's open, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and put our little doodads on, but you guys feel free to turn me off. <laughs> you know what? I was I was wondering, B, I think you're right. If it's not if it's not full, it's probably tomorrow. Um and that would explain a lot. <laughs> that would definitely explain a lot. Okay, so let's get the topiaries. Did anyone have any thoughts on the color of the doormat? I am thinking red, but I'm also thinking maybe turquoise to go with uh, our turquoise mat, which I will. Ah, thanks, B. I will put some turquoise in the in the presents that are inside. Okay. right in front of me, he was, uh, I was getting live blind, right? That's what Shannon always calls it. I think that's hysterical. Okay, and then we can put our wreath on here and I'm definitely think I'm gonna grab a little red ribbon and put it on the wreath because I think that'll look cute. Okay. Ah. That's great. Okay. So that's all I'm going to do for now. And offline, I'm going to finish it up and I'll post it for everybody to see. Oh, thank you, Amy. Oh, Amy, you're so sweet. <laughs> she says, quit making it cuter. Okay. So this is not an open closed card. This is more like a flip over, right? So there's the front. And then our little door opens. And I was, oh, I found a, I found a flaw. Our wreath gets a little bit bent. That's okay. That's all right. Um, I think I may even put a little something in here and then you flip the card over and there's a pocket right here. I'll have to get, find a card in there so I could put a gift card in there when I photograph it. And this will fit right into an A2 envelope, right? Beatrice says that would be great to punch a little hole in a corner and hang on the tree with some ribbon. Aw, B, thanks. You guys are the best. Quit making me feel so awesome, Amy. Ha! You guys are so sweet. Oh, Donna. All right, let's do that real quick. Just for Donna, before I sign off, we're going to do one last thing. All right, let me find a little teeny tiny... I don't want Donna to be upset with me. Let's put the doorknob on. This was very fun to make. There we go. Voila. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. <laughs> Donna, wait for it. What was, oh, yeah, everybody likes Bee's idea. I think that would be adorable. 
Guys, thank you so much for staying on with me. I know we went a little late and uh, there was a lot, it was a lot of coloring and stuff, but I appreciate you guys hanging out with me tonight. Um, this is, uh, I think this is it for me for the end of the year. Uh, but I will thankfully be back next year with the 2023 design team and I'm really excited and looking forward to that. So I will definitely be doing some lives next year. So I wish all of you the happiest of holidays and the healthiest of New Year's. And I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me along the way this year and joining my lives and hanging out with me while I get to do something I truly love. It means the world to me. And I've made so many awesome friends over the past year. And I'm so grateful for you guys and for Christopher and all the gang at Brutus Monroe for letting me do what I love and share it with you. So I wish you guys all the best and I'll see you next year. Bye guys.